So what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. The moment you've been waiting for. Well, some of you anyway. All right, let me get some things out of the way. Heart conditions. Go ahead and turn your volume down. Uh, you get migraines. You see stars. Uh, back pain. Turn it down, because this thing is going to bang, okay? I don't want to hurt anybody out there. I'm just joking, guy. Uh, but on a serious note, for all the guys who say you're going to blow your eardrums out, uh, a motorcycle shouldn't be that loud, all those other childish, I guess, uh, <laughs> comments, listen, you spend your money how you want to spend it. I'll spend my money how I want to spend it. The point of having a bike with loudspeakers is because that's what you're into if you ain't into it don't do it if you want just a little two speaker you know factory thing by all means rock it because i ain't saying ever I, I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with it i just like a little more punch some of us just like a little more punch i'm gonna explain my setup to you guys you can choose to go my route your route any route you want you know why because it's your money now that we got that out the way. <laughs> Alright guys, so let me explain something to you. I got a four speaker setup. Last video I had a six speaker setup. Different brand, kind of a different quality. This is more a little bit more, uh, just a little louder. I'm doing a little louder because I'm doing less speakers. Now, I know you guys are going to ask me which setup do I like better. I can't answer that because it's two different setups. Um, this setup I have here is a little bit more punch. It's a little more bass in this setup. And I did that because when you are in maybe a competition or just call it what it is, you know, bragging rights most of the time, people want to feel that bass. People want their shoes to shake. Look, I wore, <laughs> I wore these shoes specifically because they're a thicker shoe, and I still want to see if I can. I want to see if I can still feel the bass through these shoes. I'm sure I will be able to, cause this thing. I mean, really, when it when it when that bass hits, I'm sorry for the light, guys. When the bass hits, it's pounding the ground, and I pretty much tried to make this setup to the point where I'm making a statement with a four speaker setup bike. This is four speakers and two tweeters, okay. I'm in a very lightweight class. This is not one of those bikes that, you know, have the long dragged out bags in the back. It doesn't, this is still a street bike and it's pretty much a sleeper. The only thing you guys ever see is those two tweeters in the front, okay? But I mean, yeah, they're there to make a guy next to you know, oh, he's got some speakers in it, but he'll never know how this thing actually sounds until I really turn it up. And I rarely turn it up because I'll get a hundred questions and I'll never get where I'm going besides the fact. So on top of that, I've got to play guys. I got, I got to play copyright free music or I feel like YouTube is just not even going to play the song for me. They're getting really strict. So I don't even want to do that. Uh, uh, one thing about that, once, you, once you pick a copyright free song, they don't always sound that good. The quality is usually sometimes really not that good. They have more beats than anything. Remember, I got to give you something with somebody either singing or rapping or something where you can hear vocals. So I picked a song. I bought it off of, um, you know, off a website or whatever. I think it sounds, I think it sounds good. I mean, I don't, I don't know the people. I mean, they're not on the radio or anything, but I think the song sounds pretty good. I think you guys might enjoy it. I picked the song because it goes through all the levels. You, you know what I mean? Has a little punch, high vocals, you know, got some mids in there. And I have a four speaker setup. So if you like it with a four speaker setup, that means I'm doing something, man. I'm trying to prove a point out here. I'm not, 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 not to anybody specifically. I'm just proving a point overall. When I show up to spots and they want to hear it, they're like, oh man, that's only four speakers. Oh, that's not anything drastic because everybody, anybody can go out and get a setup like this. Now, what I will tell you is you need a doctor. You're asking me why you need a doctor. Well, somebody's got to be able to put this thing together in the right way. Funny story, George, my mechanic who works on my engine, told me about another George. George is 
a music guru. And I call him a music guru because I bought, I brought him my setup and it wasn't 100% when I first had it all put together. This is no disrespect to the last guy who tried to help, but it just wasn't working out for him. Look, technology is where it's at, man. Technology, he's using old technology. Everybody's using this new technology and you gotta go with the new te technology with anything right now. Um, got the bike over to George, he takes the stethoscope. And the heart beats a little. No, I'm just joking. But George was able to say, all right, this is where we got to start first. You know what I mean? He could hear that it was off. So this is where we got to start. If you want you a ground pound and bike, I'm going to help you out. Now, four speakers to get it, to get that, give you that surround sound, I think is very difficult. But we figured it out. Well, George figured it out. And he got it pounding. He has this bike screaming. I'll leave you uh, his Instagram in the description uh, portion of the video. So make sure you go check him out. If you're down in South Florida, give him a shout. Good guy. Uh, he can talk to you all day about this music. He's just that type of person. Luckily, I've been finding these type of people that are really helpful. Um, so let's turn it on. Let's. Uh, I'll do the same thing like I did on the last video. These parking spaces are about probably about 10 foot wide right so i'm gonna walk back a couple of parking spaces my thing is to turn it up and hurry up and get back there because the thing is loud and it's blasting in my ear but mind you guys i don't ever turn the bike up that loud um it's it's, it's still a pleasant cruise ride for me i'm really listening to the front speakers more than i'm listening to the back um but on this setup you can hear the back you riding you can feel a little little vibration back there so let me turn you around. Let me start this song. You tell me what you think. All right, I'm going to take you guys up to not even competition level, but you're going to be pretty loud. Tell me what you think. Now, let me tell you something before you go. Nobody ever plays the music and stands in the front of the bike. You know why? Because you can't hear it the same way. You can't get all that a full effect. But I just showed you you can. Because the bike is loud and it's clean. I'm at the point where I can't go any further or I have to start, like, really not sealing my bags, but I'd have to you know i'd have to put some dynamat or something in there because you'll start losing air out of the top of the bags george 
scientist okay he went in there he was able to touch up everywhere where he saw there was problems it's getting too much here it's not enough here let's bring this up let's bring this down you got to have somebody like that in your corner explain to him what you want and then you get that finishing result like i have four speaker setup i'm not gonna explain what i have in the bike today i got i have one person in mind that i want to pull up next to blow him out of the water and then I, I i'll give you guys the whole run through of um what i have i'll have pictures because i'm not taking the front end off my bike maybe um we'll go meet george he'll do a little talking about it and you know different types of setups if you're not into this now guys i have a dsp on this bike dsps are for are basically like an equalizer so if i ever want to get and turn those subs down, I can turn them down. If I ever want to turn something up loud, I can do that. You have to have somebody who can show you all those things to get you exactly what you want. Every song won't sound the same. Remember, I'm using straight Bluetooth action. You'll see a lot of the guys plug into here to make the song sound better. Nah, we don't need it, baby. <laughs> We're making magic over here. George, shout out to you. I appreciate you. I'm going to put all his information, like I said, in the description. Um, we're going to get over to George one day and we're going to talk. We're going to get down and dirty. And he's going to tell you some of the things he's seen, some of the things to watch out for, and how to probably pick somebody to do your music. Okay? Until the next time, guys, any questions, comments, throw it down in the comment section. Um, I got you guys. I always like to, you know, I, gotta, I, I get back to you guys as fast as possible. But until the next time, peace.